physiologically, fat is absorbed mainly into the chylomicrons outside the portal circulation through the thoracic duct. Uh, drug companies have exploited this to get beyond the first pass metabolism. So fat doesn't go through the, the liver, it gets absorbed right into the cells. And what you see in the lipid profile is a large LDL. You might even have lots of LDL, but it's the qualitative type of LDL is large. That's the low carb diet. Now the, the observed mixed diet, the way we've been taught, the way, uh, because we, we teach what we can observe, we teach what we can study, here's what is, stu is studied and when you have carbohydrate and fat in the, the foods, you get the creation of a VLDL particle out of the liver, which is the triglyceride being put on that large LDL. And then the, if you believe the cholesterol story, it turns into small LDL, and that's the bad guy in terms of atherosclerosis. So what we observe on the low-carb diet does not have the small LDL cholesterol. And in general, that's what we see if you look at the advanced lipoprotein analyses, is that the type of LDL changes. So this is basically the carbohydrate theory of atherosclerosis that uh, might, may or may not be true. It's a hypothesis, but most lipidologists talk about the small LDL there. Finally, um, a patient of mine said, why wasn't I given this option before? I put her on a low-carb diet. Uh, her weight went down. All of the cholesterol levels got better by anyone's measurement or interpretation. And uh, so there's a phenomenon of doctors in our area have been taught to use medicines very well. And they just don't understand the effects of lifestyle and diet. And that's why I teach about that quite a bit. There are other options besides Two, medications. One. One of the major studies you need to know about is the um, Women's Health Initiative, low-fat, low-calorie component of the study. The belief in the low-fat diet, thankfully, is waning. The low-fat diet recommendation started